there she came. Woo. Right there, our one-way bearing is falling apart in shot. That's got to be too much slack in that chain. Starter. All right, so I know it looks like I'm kind of just jumping right into the middle of things here because basically that's what I'm doing. But this go-kart came in just simply needing a fuel line replaced because it was leaking and a new battery. But something told me when I go to start this for the first time to film it, and I'm glad I did because as you can see here, we have issues now. So I wasn't planning on filming any of this because it's supposed to be a quick and easy in and out, but it turned into a lot more than that. I think this guy's gonna need more work than what the owner was thinking. They knew we needed quite a bit of work though because their nephews that had it, I guess, beat on it pretty good. All right, so I pulled the starter off the carbide go-kart here and it seems, just to spin this by hand, it seems fine. I don't hear and feel any grinding. So I don't think it's our starter. I think it's our one-way bearing. So I got the cart here jacked up on the side here, just to get a little better access in here, we're going to go ahead and pull the cover off here because I am thinking it's our one-way bearing in here is shot and it's slipping and that was the sound of the grinding. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the wheel off and the shock off just to give more room. You probably could get by without it, but it's going to be a lot easier with these guys out of the way. So, ooh, speaking of which, wow. I think the spindle on this guy is a little war the nut is loose we'll see if we can tighten that up but anyway let's go ahead and cut into this and see if our one-way bearing is shot oh yeah this this nut is loose and can be tightened it actually seems like it's missing a washer yeah that wouldn't be any faster can't get in there to get the car pin out we get it straight to get it out so we're just Doing this. There we go. Now I can get her out of here. Yeah, spines look okay. Alright, that's out of the way. Lots of room for activity now. get this flywheel off here we should be right in to our starter gear in there it should have our one-way bearing on it uh, probably should drain the oil in this guy this is gonna want to go all over the place wow I don't know if uh, it's meant to do this or not or if you can tell, but this hole is actually off-center in this nut. I don't know if you can tell, but there's more material here than here. That's funny. High quality bolts and nuts. Now, let's see if I got the right size puller for that. flywheels but I don't have anything else that'll work there she came Whew. that puppy was on there tight wowzers all right blue on top Green on bottom. Oh, what a mess. Now, when I'm taking out crankcase bolts, I like to mark a point as my starting point and my starting bolt. 
and then I'll take them out clockwise and keep them in order and put them back in the exact same place they came out of. If they're all the same length, it really doesn't matter, but a lot of times you'll have one or two here and there that will be longer or shorter than the rest. So I just like to keep track of those. So that's how I do it. See how long that one is <laughs> compared to the first one. rubber mallet. Let's move these before I send them flying. Let's see if I can get in here. Give it a little tap. Oh yeah. Just like that. We are free. And should have Yep, our one-way bearing is shot. Let me get you uh, in here so you can see. All right, so here is where our starter turns our starter gear, which turns its main flywheel gear. Behind that's our one-way bearing. And you can see right there, our one-way bearing is falling apart and shot. So that's why it was grinding when starting. Pretty easy fix, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and order one of those one-way bearings and get it on its way. And then when it gets here, we'll continue on working on this carbide go-kart. Hopefully when we got the starter engaging like it should, then we'll start checking for spark, checking for fuel, and making sure everything is there we need for this guy to run. And real quickly, one more thing before we skip ahead is I did get everything off here as far as the starter clutch and everything. And, uh, this timing chain, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace two over here because that is a lot of slack. I'll check and see what tolerance is for this motor for these GY6 clones, but that's got to be too much slack in that chain. There's no chain tensioner, so we'll check into that too. 